Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. All right. I truly apologize, guys, because uh, I got issues with my computer. I don't know why it, it didn't want to turn on. So uh, it was like kind of weird, but uh, right after some forced uh, <laughs> shutdown, so I, I finally succeeded in, in, in getting uh, on. So I truly apologize for that. So let's go straight to the attendance list, guys, because we're like running on time. And uh, give me a second, guys. I don't know why it's giving, me a, it's giving me a lot of issues, this thing. But anyways, give me one second. I'm just gonna load the attendance list just to start. All right, but before doing that, give me a second. It's still loading. So give me a second, guys. I'm just lo trying to get uh, everything loaded just to start uh, with the class content. Okay, great. Uh, it is just still, give me a second. No why is giving me a lot of issues this thing. Okay, so just give me a second, guys. Ah, finally, it's giving me the information. I'm just loading the attendance list. Give me one second. Just to start uh, with what we're going to be doing tonight. Why it's only one with the camera on? I just see us being only with the camera on. What about the rest, guys? Try to turn on. Que suspenda. Que suspenda. Oh my God. Ahora sí le ha entrado todo, todo, todo tipo de, de demonio a esta cosa. <laughs> sorry, guys. I feel really sorry for that. No sé, yo decía por qué. And I was like, ¿por qué no se mueven? <laughs> and I was, <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, let's just start with the attendance list. Carmen Eugenia. All right, so she's there. Uh, Christian Alejandro. Present. Okay, great. Daniel Arquimedes. Present. Okay, nice. I will be listening to that tonight. You will be as a listener? Okay. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, let me see. This person is not here anymore. Edwin Alexander. Present. Okay, okay great. Edwin Vladimir. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Okay, Hola, Mabel. Present, teacher. Nice. Fatima Adriana. Okay, so she's never. Okay, that's weird. She won't get connected anymore. Fatima Lourdes. Present teacher. 
Okay, great. Jaime Antonio. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Carla Lisset. Hey, teacher. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Kenia Cecilia. Present. Okay, nice. Lorena Beatriz. Hmm, so she's not here yet. Manuel Antonio. All right, not even Manuel in here. Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay, Mary Raquel. All right, that's weird. Mary didn't get connected anymore. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, good. Uh, and we got the last one, Osbin Alexis. Present. Okay, great guys, great. So guys, before starting with the main topic that we're gonna be discussing tonight, I would like to start as always, you know, um, starting with a short review about what were like the main uh, things that we were discussing last class, right? Just, just to have a brief uh, summary of what we were doing uh, last class. So guys, what did you remember from last class? What was like the most relevant uh, aspects of the class that we were discussing on? last night. What do you guys remember? Just to start, what were we talking about last night? We discussed about uh, some adjectives and some adverbs. Okay. Classify. All right. So we were talking about Okay, at the beginning of the class, we were talking about uh, a couple of adjectives. Okay, how an adjective works and also how adverbs works. We were doing a couple of activities, right, related to that. But besides that, besides talking about adverbs, what else were we discussing, guys? What else do you remember that we were doing? What else do you really remember, guys, that we were working on last class? We discussed about a uh, product that can be expired, that can have expiration dates. Also, what happened with the products that are out of the season and if those products are become irrelevant for the market. Ah, okay, very good, very good, great. What else do you guys remember that we were doing last class? We worked, we worked on an exercise that you share, share in the chat. Ah, okay, great. So you were working, okay, in the exercise that I shared to you guys uh, throughout the chat. Good. The, by the way, that exercise was related to the verbs, right? To I mean the adverbs. Okay, great. Good. And what was the last part that we were doing last class, guys? Do you remember what we were doing before uh, leaving the the video conference? What was like uh, that we were doing? Did you guys remember? We match some words with uh, concepts. Ah, okay, very good. So give me one second, guys. I'm just going to try to load. I don't know why this, this computer is driving crazy. I want to load uh, the manual because we are going to check that. If you remember yesterday, we just, work on it, but we didn't check it, right? Because it was like kind of kind of late, right? And we didn't have the chance to do it. So like right now we are going to start with that and just check what you did, the matches that you did. Give me one second. I'm just trying to just to get to know what these things. I don't know why it's 
getting crazy. Here it is. Okay, but in order to keep them on track, um, let's start reading the definitions that you got people from what we were doing yesterday. So I suggest you to open up your manuals on the page that we were working uh, last class. Okay, that if I'm not mistaken, it was like page 36, if I'm not wrong. Give me a second, finally it's loading this thing. And I'm gonna start with, uh, let me see. I'm gonna start with Daisy. Daisy, could you please help me out reading the first definition that you got there and tell me what was the concept that you and your classmate selected? Uh, the exercise page 34. Yeah, the exercise that we were doing, uh, if I'm not wrong, it was on page 34, exactly. Uh, exercise four. Okay. Uh, a software system used to keep record of inventory labels, orders, sales, and deliveries, uh, All right. we think is retracking. Retracking. Inventory tracking. Ah, okay. Inventory tracking. Does, yes. does everybody agree with uh, Daisy on that answer, guys? Did you agree on her or do you have something different? Agree. What about the other ones? Okay, thank you, Jaime. What about the other ones? What do you guys have in that one? I'm agree too. Ah, you agree? I on agree. That? Okay, good. So it was inventory tracking. That's what you got. Okay, great. Thank you, Daisy. That's what it is. Good. Now let me see. Mm -hmm. Osbin, could you please help me out reading the second definition, please? Okay. The English, I start with fresh stock or supplies. Hi, uh, mister. What was the definition that you chose? Uh, now? Uh, with, with stock. Which one? Restock. Restock. Okay. Do you guys agree with him? Do you think is that restock? Yes, I agree. Yes. You agree? Okay. Great. Good. So let's let's put it like that, right? Restock. Okay. Great, guys. Great. You did it great. Now, let me see who's gonna be the next one to help me out with this. Jaime, help me out with the other one, please. Okay. Mm. Oh, finally. Uh -huh. The time and place where a retail transaction is complete. Completed. Completed. Uh -huh. uh, completed. Um, there you go. We think is number three, point of sales, post. Point of sales. Yes. Number three. Do you guys agree with him? Do you think it's number three here? Yes. Yes. Okay, here was number two. Here was number... Oops. Number four, and here, okay, you got here, you said number three, right? Number three. Okay, point of sales. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, Carla, help me out reading the next one, please. Okay, 
items with expiration dates like food or even cosmetics that can become rudent or unusual on un, unusual unusable uh, if unusual. not so in time. Um, we chose spoilage, I think. Spoilage? Spoilage, yes. Ah. Number five. Okay, number five. Do you guys agree with Carla? Do you think that's a spoiler? Spoilers? Yes. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is, spoilers. So here is number five. Great, guys. You did a good job. Now, let me see who else can help me out with these. Jesus Christ, almost everybody is a listener today again. Um, let me see, Christian. Um, the oldest inventory items are recorded as sold first. All right. First in, first out. Okay. Remember, that's items, okay? Okay, items. In, first out. Okay, very good. That's what it is in here. Number seven. There you go. And uh, let me see who can help me out with that. Elwin, help me out with the next one, please. Yeah, sure. Mer merchandise kept in available for sale of the All right, what do you got there, mister? I got a... Uh, First in, first out. No, oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got a, a stock. Okay, very good. Yeah, it is a stock. Okay, number one. And we got the last one. Manuel. Hello, Manuel. You got connected right on time. <laughs> Help me out reading the last one. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Good evening. Only help me out reading the last one, okay? Okay. Uh, uh, the amounts that should be uh, available mm -hmm. at, at any time for an item. Item? When an item, okay. When an item falls below par, it is replaced. All right, it is replenished. replenished. Okay. Good. What is that? It is replenished. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, number six, part letters. Oh, great, great. Yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the remaining one, right? That's the only one that is missing in here. Okay, and it's number six, part levels. Okay, guys, if you got it like this, so it means it is correct, okay? It is correct. So let's move on to the next one, guys. All right, let's move to the next one. All right. So now, guys, now that we got everything, everything done over here, we're gonna go straight to this exercise over here. What it says, choose five of the terms above and write a sentence for each. In what consists this kind of sentence, guys? For example, according to you, stock. In what situations can I use the word stock? For example, I can say, check this out. I um running out of stock so i need to call the provider okay sentences like this guys in which you are going to mention the words that previously matched with the definitions that's what it asks in here right that you're gonna choose five of the seven uh vocabulary words or terms that you got in there below and write sentences, all right? And you're gonna write one sentence 
for each one. So in this case, I think for you to do it better in a better way, we're gonna go and uh, work in this one, but in pairs. I want only one sentence per each one of them. And you can, you can uh, write down this one using the word stock, right? So you're just going to write uh, four more, right? I want you to mention in a sentence one of the terms that you got in the previous exercise, okay? Like in the example I got here. Uh, before doing that, I would like to know who's as a listener because I see a lot of people as a listener tonight. Plus, like last class, let me check. Estela, can you participate? I'm sorry, teacher, I can't. All right, let me see. Noemi, what about you? Not, not teacher, today, no. Not today, all right. Uh, who else? Let me see. Carla, I mean, no, Carla is, is, is not as a listener. Gabby? What about you, Gabby? I think it's not even there. Fatima Lourdes, what about you? Jesus Christ, where is everybody? Ah, uh, Daniel, you told me, right, that you cannot participate tonight as well. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I just got like six people to participate. All right, guys, give me a second. I'm gonna stop sharing this for a while and then we're gonna go into this, all right, to uh, start with the sentences. Give me a second if I can fix this out. I got very, very, very few people to participate tonight. Let me see who's like, Christian and Lazy. Yeah, I mean, very few people. Let me see. Daniel. And. Okay, good. A <laughs> guy just got only four people. Let me see. All right, guys. Good. So let's go and write down the same. Listen up. Uh, don't complicate in these kind of examples. I just want. I just want. Listen up. Four examples left from that activity, but do it together. Okay. Let's do it together. One example uh, per pair that you're gonna go and work. So let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to do them. Then we're gonna come back in here just to check what you got. Let's go guys. Um, every business, and I, I don't know. Uh, sí. 
Do you guys understand what you're going to do, right? Yeah, we have to choose five words and make a sentence, right? Yeah, like a, a simple sentence, right? Applying those mm -hmm. false terms. Okay, good. Um, the teacher. Oh. Edwin has a problem with the microphone. <laughs> oh, but he's he's helping out, right? Let me see what he says. Yeah. We have so uh, uh ah okay he's helping there <laughs> okay good at least he's on the chat soon good good I'm gonna bring up an extra person in here let me see this is number two wait Hello, teacher. <laughs> hey. I just listened happiness in here. No. <laughs> what happened, people? I, I, I don't understand very well the, 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 the exercise. Now, if I I asked to Carla is uh, I asked to Carla for the for the work and Carla uh, Explain me, it's about the exercise. <laughs> ah, all right, yeah, I mean, the exercise is just, uh, what you're gonna do right now is just to choose four, because I, I, I wrote one. Uh, four um, terms for the ones that you got there and make an example for each one of them. That's what you're doing right now. And we can choose stuck again, or that one is ah, you can use eliminated. It Okay. No okay. Yes. No problem, Miss. Okay. Can you write it there? Okay. With the with the word stuck. We have to make a sentence. Okay. Um, Our Our business or our store is all wait. Okay. Is everything good? Yes. Everything good. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Can you write the sentence? The rem. Sí. Ya te. Ya se la paso. Mm. Maybe there. Ah, it's, it is necessary to take the order to the point of sales today. What order are you talking about? Um, um, el pedido. Okay, okay. Good. Okay. No sé si está bien así. Yeah. 
Eso que hay, cuando yo soy teacher. Ya me la hice, es ok. It is ok. Ok. And the last one. Number four. Eh, con la palabra de resto. ¿En cuál? Yes, resto. Resto. Uh, teacher, we have to do four or five sentences. Well, four is okay. I did one. Okay. Well, we finish. Okay, perfect. I'm going to check another group if they have already finished. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't have a problem with the spoilage. Mm -hmm. With the okay. Don't have a problem with the spoilage. Okay, but who don't have who doesn't have Problem we or maybe you can add other parties are new. Uh, uh, a new comma. We okay. Don't have, we. We don't have. Okay. Uh -huh, maybe we. Uh -huh, we don't have a problem with that. Uh -huh. Maybe like that. Okay. Okay, and the last one. Okay. First in, first out is. It is. Yes. Okay. It is like a like a method, right? When you first uh, buy the product and first sell it, right? It's like this mechanism. Uh -huh. So we can like we can make a sentence like our inventory, maybe our our in. Or well, no, no, maybe the inventory. Or inventory. Ah, the, uh -huh, the inventory management, maybe I don't know. Um, <clears throat> is. Or inventory management. Just let me see. Um. Person. Well. Maybe wait. Maybe has. Okay, our uh, inventory has, maybe has the method 
has or, been making. Okay, are the batteries? Oh, 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 has the battery management? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait. Let us see. I mean, I want to say that the, like the inventory management or the inventory, no, maybe management now, maybe we can, we have to eliminate <laughs> just inventory, okay. maybe. I don't know, our inventory, okay. I don't know, I don't know what to say. I mean that we have this method that we use the first in, first out method for our inventory or something like that. Like our inventory is, Mm. Our inventory is We we will solve we will solve our inventory because because have a because the I don't I, I don't know the 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 first and first out uh, says is about the 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 problem with the with the with the mentor is is the 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 old probe is all this. Mm, no, so, I mean no. It is that you buy, I mean, imagine that you buy, I mean, you have like a, like a business and you buy a product. Okay. So it is, uh -huh, in this okay. product that you first bought, bought, you are going to sell it first. Uh -huh, that's why it is old because you first bought it, I don't know, something like that. But it doesn't, it doesn't have to be like, all the products are old. I don't know if you understand. <laughs> I don't know if that was the question. Oh, but okay. okay. I'm gonna write it. Maybe you can wait. Our inventory has the method. The inventory has the method. First, maybe I wait. I'll figure it this. First in, first out. For our products, maybe. Okay. Okay, Manuel, I sent it to you in the, in the chat. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. Maybe we can write that. I don't know yeah. if, if this is okay or something, but that, that was like my idea. Okay. I don't know what you think. Better than first of first of rock. Oh, mm, no. Wait. I'm gonna formulate this maybe. Maybe like this, Manuel. I'm gonna say it to you again. Ah, that's that's maybe this second. That is better. The second. What? The uh in the chat. The second yeah. sentence that I sent to you. They have it. I have it because I had it I had to formulate it. I better first first. Uh -huh. Something like uh, that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna Thank write you. Nice. So you got them, right? Yes. Excellent. I let's just write it. Yeah, man. Let's go to the main section then and read two and two, okay? Oh, okay. Let's go. See you there, guys.
All right, so you're here, guys. So let's start uh, reading what you did. All right, and since you did only four sentences, you guys are going to write, uh, I mean, not write, read two and two, okay? Since you, are, uh, you were working in pairs, read two sentences each. And I'm gonna start with Daisy. Who were you working with, Daisy? With Christian. Okay, cool. Read two sentences and then Christian and uh, the other one. Daisy? Yes. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I don't, don't know, understand. Okay. Uh, I read, I read huh? the, the first two. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Read the first uh, two sentences and then Christian the other one. Ah, okay. You did four, right? Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Help help. Every company needs an uh, inventory tracking system for deliveries. Okay, good. Uh, the warehouse team work overtime to restock the supplies after the holiday season. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Daisy. Christian, read the other ones. You're welcome. The raw material of the restaurant are polished in the warehouse. Okay, good. We have enough product for the season in the point of sale. Okay, excellent. Thank you for your sentences, guys. You did it excellent. Now, Lorena and your classmate. Read two, Lorena, and your mm. classmate, uh, the other two. Okay. Um, I begin. I am running with the stock, so I need to call the provider. Oh, okay. and the next, I need to fix my inventory tracking because it's not working. It is not working. Okay. Thank you, Lorena. Oswin? Um, therefore, the product arrives this week to restock. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of product spoilage. Okay, okay, there you go. Thank you to you too. Let me see, Manuel and uh, Carla, I think. All right. Same thing, guys. Do two and two. Okay. okay. First, Carla, please. Okay, okay. Uh, the first word is stuck. Uh -huh. And the sentence is. Our store is full of stock. Only that. <laughs> and restock, the second word. Uh, the providers are going to restock the warehouse. Okay, the providers are going to restock the warehouse. Okay, good. Thank you. Manuel? Okay. All the products are new. We don't have a problem with the spoilage. Okay. And the, the other sentence is the, the words use first and first out. Our inventory used the first and first out met, metal, metal method for our product. Metal for our product. Ah, for our product. Okay, there you go, Manuel. Thank you, and thank you, Carla. Now, uh, let me see who's missing. Edwin and Jaime, if I'm not wrong. Hey, um... Let's read what you got. The first right. sentence mm -hmm. we we'll write. Um, we have sold all our product in in the store. Okay. We need to restock 
as a soon as possible. As soon as possible. So the, the ones. Um, he needs he needs confirm all transaction in the post in the point of of sales. Ah, okay, great. So that's the other one. Thank you, Jaime. Okay, next. Ah, you're gonna uh, you're gonna uh, go? okay go. Yeah, uh, because Edwin has a problem with the microphone. Ah, okay, good, good. Okay, Edwin. Um, the next one, uh, the company has a new software system. Now we have update the inventory tracking. Okay, great. The material, the materials has already come to the store. They are going to be the first in and in and first out to put on sales. Okay, okay. And the, uh -huh. the last one, yes. the supermarket has amazing promotion this weekend. Do it to do it product getting close to the spoilage date. Okay, very good, Jaime. Thank you for the information that you got with Elwin, right? At least he was like trying to help you out uh, throughout the chat. That was that was great, guys. Now, guys, let's continue with the sequence of, of activities that we got in the manual. Now, let's go, guys, uh, to the next page. Now we're going to be talking about how to design a basic plan to organize an inventory management system. Okay, so I suggest you to go to page 35 on your manual. I'm gonna project the manual over here. Here it is. And we're gonna be working the same way we were doing yesterday, guys. How come? Listen. We're gonna go uh, and uh, do two activities uh, right straight. Listen up, guys. The first couple of minutes, I will give you. Listen, I will give you a time for you to discuss in pairs, in the same pairs that we were working on. These two questions that we got over here. The first question says. How do I calculate the right amount of inventory to stock? Okay, I want you to share your ideas between you, right, and your partner. And then the second question says, how do I determine, listen up, how do I determine the right price for my inventory? You know, all the products that you might possible, uh, possibly have in order to, you know, like to be sold. So I want you to discuss these two questions. I will give you, listen up. I will give you 10 minutes for you to discuss these questions. And right after that discussion of that question, we're gonna go over the conversation that we got in here. But in order for you not to get like too full of work, let's go straight first with these two questions and then we're gonna come back and do the conversation. I think that will be kind of easier for you. What am I expecting in here, guys? I'm expecting that you as a pair get ideas and then you're gonna come here and tell me according to what you discussed, the possible answer for these two questions over here. But remember, this is like opinions and ideas that you might get with your classmate. So we're gonna go over that. And if you have any question, I will be jumping over uh, the sections, right? And if you have questions, let me know there, okay? On the spot. Let's go again, guys. But now with those two questions. How do, how do I ca calculate the right amount of inventory to stock? Uh, 
I think that we have to consider some factors such as dem demand, uh, time, safety stocks levels. Uh, <clears throat> If we are in a season or Depends. if we don't have any products in our warehouse, if the products are, like I say, demand with some clients. Uh, depend the uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice? Tener registros históricos de ventas. También. Sí. You got records of sales. Records of sales. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And no, how many products do you need? And then buy the product. By the this the inventory stock. Okay. Edwin. Yes, because if you you first you need to know how many inventory do you need for sales. If not, you can buy inventory in excess or less inventory that the customer wants. And the second, how do I determine the right price for my inventory? Well, for me, the first step is um review the, the price, the cost, how many cost the product. And that that is the less the less price that you can sell the, the inventory, but, and you have to see other costs, for example, about the transportations, logistic, all that we saw about the TPLs, if are applicable, and review how many is your cost and then see how many do you want to have pro from the profit how you how do you say utilidades eating, um, eating I don't know. <laughs> Utilities. ¿Cómo? Utilities. Utilities. U utilities. It's written, but it's ah, pronounced. Okay. Utilities. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. The utilities that you want. Um, that is the better form for determining the, the right price. And yeah. before that, you consider all the costs and how many you, you want to have from utilities. You have to review the price in the market and see if you are inside of the, the lever or the level of price in the in the market because if the price to know a company to, to know uh, to know have to know, to know I have to know 
they have to not run to to the product needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Carla. Okay. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I, I, I understand. Uh, in this review, uh, when you explain is the necessary to to know is the customer if the customer want to need it uh, and it's necessary is necessary uh, uh, to calculate the the to calculate the right amount the the invent the inventory mm -hmm. and the and the what and the warehouse. And it is not only in the in the water hubs is 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 always is always to know have have to know it is the it is our, on the store and the on the mm -hmm. store yeah yeah okay now the question number two. Uh, how do I determine the right price for my inventory? Um, well, maybe one thing can be according to the demand, maybe can be like one point. And another is that we have to know um, <clears throat> what was the price when we bought it and how much is the, how do you say ganancia? Earnings. Ganancia. Earnings. Earning. Uh -huh. How much is the earning for our company? So we have to sell, obviously we have to sell the products or the, uh, the, the products. Um, expensive, more expensive than we first bought it, I think. And, but another thing that maybe can, I how do you say influence? Yeah, influence, <laughs> influence is the demand maybe. Well, what do you think? Manuel. Yeah, yeah. Ah, can okay, you read? No, no, it's, it's only only change my my audience. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, it's the problem. It's it's and the second question is about the how do I I determine determine the right price for the inventory is is. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Give me a moment. My battery is. Oh my God. We're on. He's dying. Yeah. 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 It sorry. Happens. It happens. Okay. And, and it's necessary. And, and the second question. How do I do it? determine the right price for the inventory? Is necessary to 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 <clears throat> depend of the 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 date of expiration that product, maybe. Mm -hmm. Depend of the kind of product we we have. For example, if if we have a XP product expiration 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 date, um, we don't we have a a good control for the product because the product is very is the product expiry. How do you say teacher? Expired. Uh, expired. 
<laughs> because the product is private. Uh, by the way, when we have a product um, non non perishable, uh, we can buy a lot of product in inventory. In the second, how do I determine the right price for my inventory? Um, price for unit? Yes, can be price per unit. Mm -hmm. Dicho pregunta, en esto es precio de todo mi inventario almacenado. Uh -huh. We need to establish a price for, for unit in in for product. Maybe. Makes sense. I don't understand you. <laughs> That's basically the second question, right? Yes. Okay. It says, how do I determine the right price for my inventory? Let's suppose you got a, a, a warehouse with your product. How will you know what is the price of each product? Let's suppose, Lorena, you are selling vegetables. How you, Lorena, are going to know what in what price you are going to sell tomatoes in what price you're going to sell um celery what uh, what uh, price are you going to sell potatoes how first i need i need um i need know uh what's the um, the cost to the Maybe alquilar. Ah, rent. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se dice alquilar? Rent. rent. Uh -huh. Ah, rent. Ah, uh -huh. uh, um, ma maquinaria, mach machine. Machinery. Machinery. And for a uh, record. Mm -hmm. The product and the people. Uh, one. How many I pay? Uh, um, <laughs> to the person, maybe. So basically, you're giving the answer. You see. You're giving the answer to the question, you see? Now you see that you understand? <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Just add you both a little bit more, and then we're going to come back, okay, to the main section. I need to check another group. Okay. All right. Keep on working, guys. Hey. Hey. 
labeling. Labeling. Es como etiquetas. Etiquetables. Mm. Labeling. Labeling. Properly, dijimos que era adecuadamente. O sea, uh -huh. I have the inventory identified. Identify. Uh -huh. You finished, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Great, great, great. So if you have already finished, Let's go back to the main session. I think it's time. Okay. I want to listen to you. Okay. Guys. Right, so now everybody's coming. Hmm. Good, so let's wait for the other ones to get connected and we're going to start, guys. In the meantime, I'm gonna, gonna share. All right, here. Okay, let's start with the ones that, that are here already. It says number one, the questions that you were just discussing, guys. How do I calculate the right amount of inventory to stock? Okay, uh, I will give you the chance for any pair to start first. Who wants to start first, guys? Everybody's going to participate in this activity. So who wants to be first? Who wants to say, me, teacher, I want to be the first pair? Who says me? Nobody. Oh my God, nobody wants to participate. I can be the me. first. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Christian said it first, and then you can hear. Yeah. Okay? Christian. Okay. Okay. Well, I think that it depends of some factors such as a uh, demand. If some clients need uh, uh, products, you have to buy the enough product for all the clients, right? Mm -hmm. uh, also, it, it depends on the season. If you have like a, a windy season, for example, mm -hmm. and you need uh, more how ropa caliente how do you say that warm clothes uh-huh can, can you repeat please warm clothes ah, warm uh-huh you need warm clothes maybe in a windy season that's why you you need more stock for for your warehouse also uh it depends of the it depends of the if the warehouse is big or or a small, I think, mm -hmm. that's all. Okay, okay, good. Thank you, Christian, thank you. All right, uh, Kenya. Hi, I am agree with Christian. Mm -hmm. And the fear is know the market and how many customer will buy the product mm -hmm. because it, that is depending how many inventory you need to have in stock. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, for me, that is the principal thing. Okay, all right, there you go. Thank you, Kenya, excellent. Now, mm, 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 who wants to participate? Carla, help me Hello. out. Uh, okay, with the first question. Yeah, the first um, one. Okay. Uh, 
I worked with Manuel, Manuel, and we were discussing the maybe the how can we calculate the right amount of inventory. Mm -hmm. And one of the things is maybe as my classmates said that we have to know, maybe we have to know a product. And if we know that the product that we are going to sell is something that people need or people is really going to buy it. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that maybe we're going to to buy it first. Uh, we're going to buy a great amount of it, maybe. But if it is something that people want, maybe going to buy or not so much people uh, want it or need it, uh, we have or we need a uh, less amount about it because if we have a great amount and people uh, is not going to buy it, we are going to have products that we want sell and we're going and we're not going to earn anything so another thing maybe uh, that we were discussing is maybe we have to take account the space of for example the warehouse if we have like a warehouse that is like with doesn't have like a great space and we will know that for our inventory doesn't have to be like great maybe or how we have to like calculate that things and to know how much are we going to buy and store maybe yeah okay, <laughs> okay. Good. 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 thank you carla very good and uh, uh at least let me see who's who may be next 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 lorena yeah lorena i want to know what you think about this lorena i i i work with as we um, the uh, first question. Mm -hmm. uh, how do I cal calculate the right amount of inventory to stop? Um, we discuss is depend, depend of the kind of product do you have, that do you have? Because if you have a product um, known perishable, you, ah. you can have uh, more product because, uh, because the product is non perishable. Mm -hmm. And by the way, and when the, when the product is a, a, with an expiration date, Mm -hmm. And we don't, we don't, we can't buy at that product because, because um, uh, we, we, uh, we will lose a lot of money when the product expires. Okay, you will lose a lot of money if the product expires, okay. Okay, there you go. Makes sense what you said. Perfect. I just need one last participation on this. Let me see. Uh, Edwin, because he has a bad microphone, I can. I'm not. I'm not gonna choose him. Who can help me out with it? Jaime. Yeah, Jaime will help me out. He was working with Elwin, so. You there, Jaime? Mm -hmm. Nah, I mean, Jaime is sleeping. Let me see who else I can choose from. Let me see. I don't got that many options to choose now. Manuel, what can you tell me about that, Manuel? What were you discussing with Carla? Yeah, yeah, uh, I am discussing with Carla uh, and we will discuss how, how do I calculate the right amount of the inventory to stop the question one? Yeah, you can tell me about that. Okay. Um, and we discuss is about uh, the, the, the is, is, is necessary to, 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 to have the company to have no is the, the people demand 
of, of, of the products. Mm -hmm. and, and the company, they, they uh, saw so the company, the, the company uh, to have, to have, uh, to have no, uh, the, the people needed the product and, and uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Right. And, and, okay. And, and the people need, needed the product and, and, and different, and different, and different times. And, and, Um, remember that when you're talking about the stock it's like what you have in order to sell right that you have available in order to sell yeah is that is necessary <laughs> To to, uh, to to know uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to have to have uh, sorry to to know is the warehouse the stock and and the in the store and for calculate the, the right amount in the inventory stock for the customer needed. Okay, yeah, I mean, actually, um, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and, but remember that in this case, you got to know, right, how much you got in a stock, because in that way, you can track on a good inventory, right, and, and know what you have available in order to spread all over your, your clients, right, or customers, as you want to call them. Okay, great. That was on, on first and second questions. Some of you guys were talking about the second question. I'm not gonna start that much with you on here uh, because I would really like to practice the short conversation that we got in here. Uh, this is a short conversation between Jorge and Susan. And it says in here, Susan and Jorge are talking about the basis on how to keep an organized inventory system. Right, and then it says read the conversation and take turns to practice. Okay, now let's read a little bit the conversation. Then we're gonna go into the practice of it, and at the end we're gonna be doing uh, this short activity that you got over here, guys. Okay, let's go over here, and it says, "I'm having a bad time with my business." Listen up, I'm having a bad time with my business. Susan, I need some advice. I need some advice about inventory management. About inventory management. Susan says, okay, okay. I see you keep notes on a scrap of paper. I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, Jorge. The first step to implement, the first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. Information in one place. I recommend you to, listen, I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet. I recommend you to this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. And record notes there consistently. Or it says, sure, sure. 
I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Susan says, now you know. Now you know. And look here. And look here. The labels are falling. The labels are falling of the packages, of the packages. By labeling inventory properly, by labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your product get stored, that your products get stored accurately accurately in the right spots so that your employees can find them easily when needed when needed all right guys from here do you have any question guys with the vocabulary that appears here yes i what's the mean of is spreadsheet scrap scrap of paper or, or spreadsheet spreadsheet is a is a is a page on a, on excel hoja de calculo yeah that's what it is good something else guys that you might got Guys, any other vocabulary word that you might get? Oh, everything is okay. Do you recognize all the vocabulary that appears in the conversation? Good. Sure. 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 Spreadsheet. Uh, I mentioned that, Edwin. It's like hoja de cálculo. It's like when you work on Excel and you got this, the whole spreadsheet, that is called a spreadsheet. Good, brother. Good. All right, guys. So let's go and practice this short conversation for a couple of minutes. After practicing the conversation, guys, I want you to go down over here and you will find three questions to discuss with your partner. It says question number one, what are some of George's bad practices or Jorge's bad practices in inventory management. What was he doing bad? All right, you will find it out in the conversation. Number two says, what are Susan's recommendations to solve some of the issues, right? Like the problems that he was getting. And then number three says, what is another suggestion you could give Jorge to get his inventory organized? Esta no la van a encontrar en la conversación. Esta la van a hacer ustedes from your own, okay? You're going to provide a suggestion, okay, in there. Good, guys. Uh, for this one, for this one, let me see. Yeah, with one question, it will be, will be good. All right, good. Let's go to practice the conversation if you don't have any question. I'm gonna stop sharing in here. I will give you a couple of, of minutes, guys, for you to do that and to do the questions that you got there. And guys, listen, I know this, this, this will be like kind of punishment to you, 
uh, I didn't, I, I do really sorry because I didn't want this to happen. But listen guys, realmente no quería que esto sucediera y lamento, lo, desde ya les digo que lo, lo lamento mucho por los inconvenientes que tuve al inicio de la clase, pero eh, decidí no cancelar la clase, puesto que tendríamos que habernos extendido un día más, right Y pues ya al martes, ya para el martes prácticamente vamos a ver, eh, haber terminado el módulo. Right? On Monday we finish this, if everything goes okay tomorrow and on Monday, but because uh, we lost almost 20 minutes at the beginning of the class, I will ask, I will ask you guys, at least for the people who are working right now, to stay with me a couple of more minutes after 10, por lo menos para completar las dos horas eh, exactas y no estar pendientes con like, you know, like time um, according to the video. No sé si podríamos quedarnos un par de minutos más después de las 10, por lo menos para tratar de recuperar esa parte del tiempo que perdimos y así cubrir con las, los 120 minutos, right? Sé que es un poquito sacrificado, pero uh, es necesario que cubramos los 120 minutos, guys, ¿ok? Al menos por ahora, right? So, uh, let's go to practice the conversation. Then let's do the questions and then we're going to come back in here and check everything, okay? Let's go, guys. Inventory management. He keep not on any scrap of paper. <laughs> no, because he is talking about inventory management. The first step to implement the system is getting. Or maybe yes. I understand. <laughs> because Susan says, uh, I see you keep nuts on any scrap of paper, George. Uh, I think. Yeah, George. Your doesn't take um, notes, so. Consist. Sure, I can do that. I do really give, really give much much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here. The labels are falling off the package. Mm -hmm. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your product gets stored mm -hmm. accurately and right spot so that your employees can find them easily when they need it. Okay. Uh, one more time, and I am Susan now. Okay, I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about the inventory management. Okay, okay. I see you keep not on any scrap of paper, Jorge. The first step to implement that, implement an organizing inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend 
do you do this in a spreadsheet and record not there consistently? Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know. And uh, look here, the label her the label. He keeps on any scrap of paper. Excuse me, Carla, please. One, one. I mean, wait. Let me see here. What did you say? What did you say? A practice. Okay. One of one of these bad practices, maybe, is when Susan says. You keep notes on any scrap of paper. That could be one. We can write, he keeps oh, notes on any scrap of paper. Maybe. Okay, oh. and the bad practices, uh, the bad practices in inventory management, the, the Jorge is don't have, don't have uh, any, don't have any notes for the, for the business. Um, I think, I mean, he doesn't have an organization, I think it is, because he have, he has the notes, but it is, it is all disorganized, maybe. Yeah. No, yeah, 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 I, I, I agree with you. Hello? And in vendor information in a, in one place. Yes, and and, and create a, a spreadsheet too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three. What is another suggestion you could give for her to get his inventory organized? Is a le, le, labeling inventory properly, right? I guess, yes, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, finish. Okay, that's all. Do you want to practice more time or the conversation? Practice a little Please. bit more. Practice a little bit more of the conversation while I'm gonna okay. check the other groups all right if they have already finished. Okay. Nice. And vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record not there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the package. 
by labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when need. Okay. Uh, we finished it. You have already finished? So basically what you're doing right now is just to practice the conversation, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Great, great. I'm going to check yes. on another group. So we use the second group that I have already finished. I'm going to check on the other ones. If they finish, we're going to go back to the main session, okay? Okay. Nice. Okay. Sure. For me, that that's who. Okay. And the number three is what is another suggestion you could give Jorge to get his inventory organization. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I, I need to see the the warehouse for answer these questions. I don't uh, know. Uh, what is another suggestion you could give Jorge to get his inventory organization? Maybe he he needs to hire. Sorry, Maybe he need to hire um inventory management. Okay. <laughs> uh, can you spell me the word? H one H E L E. Hi. Yes. Um. Inventory management. Okay. Yes, because m m maybe he have a lot of things to do, and for that reason he don't don't have the inventory organized. Could be, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I think uh, he need more organization about the. Oh, the his inventory. Yes. Yes. Okay. You need. <laughs> he needs have more organization. Okay, I think that will be finished. Okay. We finished, teacher. Okay, you have already finished, that's all? Yes. yes. All right, nice. Nice, guys. Now, uh, if you have already finished, I guess everybody has done. And let's go to the main section. See you there, guys. Okay, see you.
All right, so everyone's coming back, or I at least I think they're coming back, or, or they left. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna share the manual so we can practice what we got over here. Oops, I know everyone is coming. All right, guys, let's. Uh, Let's check and let's practice the conversation here. I want to listen to you guys. Oh, Osbin, uh, you're going to be the first one. Since you're the first one on my screen, let's go. Who are you working with? With Lorena, right? Uh, Lorena. OK, perfect. Let's go. OK. Just start, Lorena. OK. I'm having, I am, um, sorry. I having a bad time with my boss, my business. And I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep note on any scrap of paper, Jorge. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and better information in one place. I recommend you do this an uh, spreadsheet and record not there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I don't, I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the label are falling off the package. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your product gets stored accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, very good. Thank you, Osbin and Lorena. You did it excellent. Now, Manuel and Carla, let's go. Okay. Um, okay, I'm having a bad time with the business. Susan, I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, Jorge. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you to do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my not. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spots so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, very good. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you, Manuel. You did it excellent. Now, Daisy and uh, Christian, right? Mm, yes, okay. I can be Susan, Daisy. Okay, Daisy, let's start. Okay. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor, vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my nuts. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the package by labeling inventory properly. You ensure that your products get the store accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, very good, when needed. Thank you, uh, Christian and Daisy. Now. Let me see who, if I'm not grown, mm -mm, Jaime and uh, 
Kenya and you got Elwin as well, right? But Elwin, I think, has a problem with the audio. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, great, let's practice with Kenya then, uh, Jaime. Okay, and I start. Oh. I am having <laughs> a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep not in any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a, a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the, the levels are falling off the packages. By leveling inventory properly, you ensure that your product gets stored accurately. If the right spots so that your employees can find them easily when needed. We need it. Okay, very good. Thank you, Kenya, and thank you, Jaime. Is somebody yeah. else I might be missing? You gonna fix uh, your audio problems, Edwin? Okay, good. Let me see. I I think all of you have already participated. In them. Let me see. I'm gonna expand this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody has already uh, participated on here. Now, let's go straight to the questions that you got over here. Okay, uh, let me see. <laughs> Manuel, help me reading the question one, please. And help me out with Carla, what you have in here. Okay, uh, what are some of George's bad practices? in inventory management. Great, what do you, uh, and you can participate also, Carla, what do you guys uh, have in that one? Okay. What is your answer? Okay, we have four uh, bad practices that we can see. The mm -hmm. first is that he keeps notes and any scrap of paper. The other is that he doesn't have the product and vendor information in one place. And the other is that he doesn't label the inventory properly. So he has a bad organization. Only that. Okay, good. Do you guys have the same the same thing uh, as them in there? Yes, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Now let's go in. Uh, thank you, Manuel and, and, and Carla. Now, let's go into the other one. Christian, read number two, please. What are Susan's recommendations to solve some of the issues? Mm -hmm. According to you and your classmate, uh, give me a second. Daisy, yeah, the Daisy. What do you guys have there as an answer? Uh, basically, Susan recommends to Jared that he should do a spreadsheet and records notes consistently. Mm -hmm. And well, just that, I guess. <laughs> just that. Okay, basically, yeah, I mean, one of the main, uh, it was also like the main uh, suggestion, right? Or recommendation to set up an spreadsheet and uh, get everything there, right? Keep all the records there. Okay, very good. That's what basically we got in here. And now in number three, guys, I do really want the participation of all of you because in here, yeah, as a group, you got something completely different, right? Now it says, I'm gonna read number two, number three. It says, what is, listen up, another, right? What is another suggestion you could give Jorge to get his inventory organized? Osbin, 
and uh, Lorena, what do you guys wrote in there as a suggestion? What was your suggestion? Remember, I'm talking about the third one, okay? Cosby. Uh, for me, um, labeling inventory properly. Label the inventory properly? Yes. Isn't it that in the conversation? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, it's in here. <laughs> <laughs> Even in the inventory properly. No, you have to set up or, or, or come up with something different. Have a good system. Have a good system automatic. Ah, have a good system automatically. Hmm. Okay, okay. Any other suggestion, Lorena? Like, yes, um, in a classify to the inventory in in a court. This classify in date uh, of expiration is ex expired. Uh -huh. Maybe label. Mm, okay, okay. Now it makes like kind of sense what you said. Okay, good. Thank you to you both guys. Pero la próxima no me, no me hagan trampa. All right. Don't cheat on me, guys. Good. Now, Manuel and Carla. What is the suggestion that you give to Jorge? Okay. Uh, <laughs> the suggest we suggest that maybe he can have like a schedule of the things uh, that he has to do, mm -hmm. um, because in that way he can remember what he has to do and in in what time he's going to do that, maybe. Ah, okay, good. good. Thank you, Carla. Any other my, uh, suggestion of, that you personally might give, Manuel? Uh, he needs more organization and, and he, he needs give to more, more time for, for, his, for his company. More time to his company. Yeah. For, for, organiz, for, organiz, for organization, this guy. It's about this guy. Ah, okay, okay. It makes sense now. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Manuel and Carla. Now, Daisy and Christian, what might be a suggestion that you guys might give to Jorge? Um, he must be organized with every aspect of the workhouse, like um, the labeling, um, like uh, like Carla says, the schedule. But also, I think she he needs to uh, to hire some some employees, maybe that can handle with the with everything. I guess. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Good. Daisy. Okay. Uh, Jorge needs be more organized. 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 <laughs> Sorry. All right. No with problem. the with the information. Uh -huh. uh, and I think he needs know more about of the inventory management. Ah, okay, good, good. Only that. Only that, all right, he needs to be more organized. Elwin, ni Elwin se me va a salvar. Elwin, type, type what you think it might be a suggestion that you might give to Jorge, okay? While you type that, your classmate Jaime and Kenya will tell me what are they going to suggest to Jorge? Um, 
in this case, uh, I think uh, Jorge needs get um, automatically inventory system mm -hmm. and the first or oh, the first uh, problem is the organization. Yes, uh, he needs more organization in the inventory. Mm -hmm. He needs more organization in his inventory. Okay, good. Yes. Uh, so that's what was the suggestion in the conversation, right? Uh, to create an spreadsheet. But besides an spreadsheet, Jaime, what else would you suggest Jorge to do? For me, hire something else that administrate the inventory. Ah, okay, that might be another option to hire someone to help him out with the organization, with the inventory. Yes. yes. Okay, it makes sense, all right, to have uh, one specific person, all right, to organize his inventory management. Okay, good, good. All right, and the last but not least, Elwin. What will be your suggestion, Elwin? What happened to Elwin? Okay. <laughs> Let me check what he says. Ah, okay, you're typing. Okay, great. While you're typing, I'm gonna stop sharing this and I'm gonna uh, load the attendance list, okay? I will, be, I will be waiting for your answer, mister. Give me one second. All right, guys, uh, while he types uh, the, the, the suggestion, how are you going with the homework? ¿Cómo vamos con las tareas? I know some of you have already finished, guys. Uh, and what about the other ones? Algunos ya me terminaron todo. ¿Cómo vamos con los demás? Remember, guys, if you have not finished the homeworks, pueden hacerlas este fin de semana, okay? Así para que el lunes no estén todos, like, you know, like, ah, but, like too too full of, of of things to do right and if it is possible you can even complete the final exam okay so así el lunes no están así como que que me van a tener ahí encima y no le manuel por favor termineme el examen manuel que lo necesito para la... <laughs> yeah all right it's an example manuel all right so in that in that way eh, se evitan, eh, que yo los esté estresando después de la clase, ¿ok? okay. <laughs> and, and remember, guys, eh, igual van a recibir la, la encuesta de satisfacción, el link and everything, pero recuerden, lo vamos a hacer el lunes en la clase, ¿ok? During the class. Mm -hmm. eh, esos son los lineamientos que, que siempre nos han pedido y pues, you know, you, you, you got them already, right? Good. So... Edwin, something short, Edwin. Okay, let me see. He needs to get hire some el someone else, someone else, right? To help with his inventory or he needs to keep control of his problem. Mm, okay, yeah, it's like kind of uh, what uh, Kenya was suggesting. Okay, it makes sense. It makes sense. Thank you, Edwin. So thank you guys for have, for being here this couple of extra minutes just to you know recover the, the minutes that we lost or basically that I lost with the computer. So now I'm gonna go and pass the attendance list and that's gonna be everything, okay? Thank you guys. Uh, Carmen Eugenia. Jesus Christ, what happened with this? I thought she's there. Um, Christian Alejandro. Present. Great. Daniel Arquimedes. Present. Nice. Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay, great. 
uh, Elwin Alexander. I am right. Elwin Vladimir. Okay, so he's there, but he doesn't have a microphone. Estela Mabel. Present teacher. Okay. Present, good. present. Nice, nice. Fatima Adriana. All right, so uh, Fatima didn't shut up. Fatima Lourdes. He was here. Yeah, but he left already. She left already. Uh, Jaime Antonio. Present. Good. Carla Lisset. Good teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Lorena Beatriz. Present. Okay, nice. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, great. Maria Gabriela. Left already? Okay. Uh, Mary Raquel, connected. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, good. And the last one, Osbin Alexis. All right, guys, thank you for everything. And Let's me, teacher. Huh? Kenya? Yeah, I got it. I got you here, Kenya. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, thank you guys for everything. And let's see you tomorrow in the last video conference of the week. Okay. Bye bye, guys. Have a wonderful bye, day. Okay? Good night. See you. Good night. See you guys tomorrow. Okay, so basically what we were doing tonight, it was a, basically a class discussion. So we were discussing um, an activity that we did not finish yesterday. And the activity was basically uh, related to a vocabulary, right? So we were checking now what the word stock is, what inventory tracking is, point of sale, restock, spoilage, per level, and first in and first out, right? Also, uh, the students were uh, creating example sentences using every vocabulary word from uh, the context. Right, that we were uh, previously discussing, as I said. Uh, besides that, the main topic that we were discussing tonight it was design a basic plan to organize an inventory management system. So in this case, the students were discussing a couple of questions. And the first question that they were discussing it was, how do I calculate the right amount of inventory to stock. Let's remember guys that when we talk about stock, it's basically all the product that you have in the warehouse or basically you have in existence, right? The product that you got ready to be picked and sold to whom? To the client, right? To the customers. So in this case, Let's remember that it's really, really important and necessary to know about the organization of a correct inventory management system. Because if you guys know how to create and organize a well-established inventory management system, you can calculate the right amount of inventory or the right amount of product that you can have or you need in your warehouse, right? So that is really important. And that was one of the things that the students were discussing about, right? And then the second question that they were discussing was, how do I determine the right price for my inventory? Let's remember that all the inventory process uh, requires products prices, right? Every product inside the inventory system has a price. 
So in that case, if you have a well-established inventory management, you in that way will know how much is every product on the warehouse, right? So in that case, you will easily determine the right price for the whole inventory. So, and, and that will be like one of the easiest ways for you to keep on track of everything. Remember that if you keep on track everything, you basically will have, uh, uh, well, the, the basis for, for, for your products, the basis for all you need, right? So in that case, it will be like like very, very useful because in that way you will keep records of uh, the, the levels of inventory. Uh, you will keep track on the orders that you have and, and, and you uh, take out. You will be um, on track of the sales and deliveries that you might get. So, and in that case, also you will have an, a specific um, and I say these dates or track with the expiration dates from your products, because remember not all the products has an expiration dates, but, but it is really, really, really necessary for us to have an expiration dates track of our products because we don't want to sell products uh, expire, right? To customers, because that will be like, a huge problem for our company all right so and by expiration dates of products we're talking about uh, like food or cosmetics right like that can become rotten or unusable you know like all those kind of products that in a somehow cannot be sold if they are out of time right so all of that is really necessary. It's really necessary to have a track of it. It's like the first in and first out also, it is really important to have a track on those, right? Because in that way, you got like the oldest inventory items, like, you know, like recorder uh, sold first, and then the, product that you're getting like at the moment or recently is the one that is getting stocked or that is getting um you know like a store on the warehouse and that's being like the last product that you are going to be selling why because you need to take out first the product that you previously had right or you got more time with it uh, probably in the store or in the warehouse all right Right after uh, that, the students, what, we, what they were doing is to practice a conversation, right? In which the conversation was about Susan and Jorge. They were talking about the basis on uh, how to keep an organized inventory system. And the students were discussing three questions that were very necessary in, you know, like taken from the conversation. And the question one was, what are some of Jorge's bad practices in inventory management, right? So the students were giving their opinions taken from the conversation, right? And the second question was, what are Susan's recommendations to solve some of the issues, right? So in the conversation were presented a lot of issues, but Susan uh, were, you know, providing a couple of recommendations and here students were telling what were like those recommendations uh, being given. And in number three, the last question was, what is another suggestion you could give Jorge to get his inventory organized? A lot of his students were saying that a, a good way or a good suggestion that they might give to Jorge was like, to hire an extra person, all right, uh, with knowledge previously not previous knowledge uh, about inventory management, for him to help, all right, with the inventory. 
So uh, I consider that it was a good, uh, a good advice uh, or suggestion that they gave in this case. And the other ones just follow up uh, what in the conversation said. So basically that was guys like the most relevant that we were discussing throughout the class time tonight. So uh, we will, uh, you know, like keep track on this. And uh, tonight, any of the students uh, was available for, a, you know, like a 10 minutes feedback because all the topics that we have been discussing have been clear. And besides that, now uh, I got all the students uh, with the 10 minutes participations done. So plus that, uh, tonight we had uh, some issues at the beginning of the class. So that's why I took a couple of more minutes, the students in here. So they were basically spending 20 more minutes in here just to cover with, you know, like the class uh, time required. All right. And I am just providing a short um, review from all we were doing in the class time. So that is everything for tonight, guys. I hope this topic to be clear for all of you. And let's see you, or let's see us each other in another video conference later on. So that's it for tonight. Bye-bye, guys.